want to talk about your Yankees, I think. Oh, well, that's right. We almost <laughs> forgot. They're in a huge tailspin, Keisha, after such a great start to the season. And I'm going to just ask you, can they right this ship, turn it around, and sail back into smoother waters? Well, Mike, I, maybe it's the optis, optimist in me. I think, of course. You know, we've come across, uh, come upon the all-star break, so that means we're halfway there, right? So there's another 80-something games to go minus the playoffs, yes? So there's always opportunity to right the ship, as long as you're injury-free. You know, you're an avid baseball watcher, avid Yankees fan. And so, you know, what do you think Well, the Yankees need to do? There's definitely optimism on this team. And one thing I did uh, realize is that there's, youth is on their side. They have some of their biggest names, their biggest stars and talent are young. So they can definitely, you know, if they're staying healthy, they can continue, you know, have an upward trend this season and, and keep going up, up, up as seasons to come. But as a Yankees fan, what do you think the Yankees need to do to, in, in order to turn this thing around? Well, I think the biggest question mark that they're going to face right now is how they're going to go ahead and be buyers before the trading deadline. They're going to go ahead and make some moves. There's no question about that. But what type of moves? Are they going to go out and get a starting pitcher? How are they going to go ahead and help their bullpen? Uh, and, of course, they, they they need another first baseman. I mean, the first base of the season has just been completely atrocious. But I think what the Yankees are facing right now is that the Houston Astros in the American League are so far superior, better than everybody else, that no matter what changes the Yankees make to their roster, I don't see them going out and being able to come compete with a team like Houston once the playoffs roll around. So I think that they're going to be able to go ahead and make some moves and possibly compete with the Red Sox for the American League East. But I don't think that they're going to go ahead and mortgage their future to do so. And I think that with all that surplus of talent, which they do have a lot of, there's no question about it, um, they shouldn't get rid of everybody just so that they can go. Because they have had a very good season so far, despite the fact that, the, the fact that they've really struggled recently. So I think that you're possibly going to see them go after a first baseman, maybe get some help in the bullpen. But for the most part, you're not going to see them jumping out there making three, four, possibly five trades so that they can go ahead and make a push to the World Series. It's not going to happen this year. And the last thing I'll say is they are getting some guys back. So that'll be good. Matt Holliday, of course, and Starling Castro, two guys who have been hurt recently. When they get back in the lineup, hopefully that'll get them back rolling and everything. And just quickly, any names that you think that the Yankees should go for? The one guy that I think people have really talked about um, is Logan Morrison, who, of course, is t with Tampa Bay, and that's never pro probably going to happen. But someone like that. And then, of course, uh, you know, of course, Tampa Bay would never wind up making a trade with the uh, with the Yankees. But the, um, um, you know, that's really about it. I mean, it's just a lot of it is you just it's, it's just all speculation as far as for how they're going to go forward. And there were some whispers about Bryce Harper. That's true. Mm. And we will say congratulations to Aaron Judge because he won the home run derby. That's right. At the All-Star game. Bravo, <laughs> bravo. <laughs>